said, what you making over there? Hey, what daddy making? Making a protein shake. No, you can't have none. What you making over there? It's looking kind of good. What you got in there? Making me a pre smoothie. Oh, really? It looks kind of good. What you got in it? Shit up. What you got in it? I got a little frozen strawberries, some whey protein, mm -hmm. a little bit of creatine. I got some little hippie and milk. A little hippie milk on deck. Me and I'm about to have this real quick. We're going to fuck up some chest. Make it a quick workout, quick and intense. Quick and intense, which is why I'm recording. I want to show y'all. Because, can't keep in mind, when I show y'all these workout videos, you know, that's just, it's usually on a perfect fucking day. You know what I mean? Where I have all the time in the world. Let me show you a workout where I'm actually in a hurry to get the fuck out of there. Show them a the time right now. If it's 9.37 at night, I'm going to get to the gym maybe 10 o'clock. I'm trying to be out by 11. I'm trying to be in and out an hour. But I still want to get a good workout. So I'm going to show you how I get a high volume, how I'm able to fit a shitload of volume in a short amount of time. Because as for me, I may not know, high volume workouts, you're going to be at the gym by 80 or 90 minutes. Easy. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm going to show you how to get a good high volume chest workout in a short amount of time. Before we do, let me show you what I'm rocking, man. That Pump Chaser Stringer. Be sure to go to my website, pumpchasers.com, on Saturday to get you a stringer. You know, and we're going to have the wrist wraps as well. We're going to have stringers and wrist wraps. And then, you know, about a week or two later, we're going to have the shirts. And if everything all goes well, y'all supporting the brand. Like I think y'all should, because the price is a player as fuck. Then we're going to do sleeveless hoodies, shit for the women. We're going to do versa grips, lifts. We're going to bring all kinds of shit to the website for a player ass fucking price. You're going to be fresh as fuck for a good price. Alright, so once again, I'm wearing a large. So if you're a taller guy, I'm only five foot seven. you know. I'm wearing a large. You're a taller guy, you might want to go with an extra large, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be a little longer, you know. I want my shit looking like a damn dress, so I wear a large. You know, if you're a taller guy, get you a 1X. We're gonna have 2X soon and 3Xs. So, anyway, man, pumptations.com, baby. Look at that shit. Look at that. Yeah. Thick, creamy, tasty. Yes. Perfect pre workout right here. Well, anyway, man, I'm about to sip on this. Put some branch gains in my water bottle. We're gonna head to the gym. Man, so I'm at the gym. I got here about 10:30 at night, and I forgot my wrist wrap. So, and I really don't like going heavy without my wrist wrap, man. But we're gonna see, man. I'm not gonna bitch out, you know. I'm gonna train as hard as possible, but as you know, I got real small wrist, and. It's really hard for me to train without my wrist wrap because I start to get real sharp pains. But I'm going to go as heavy as I possibly can without hurting my wrist, okay? But anyway, I'm about to start off with some flies. Okay, so it's 10.30 right now. I'm trying to be out of this in one hour. So I'm going to push it high volume, very intense. Y'all stay tuned and y'all take notes. Before I start, got to get that gangster shit on my ear on here real quick. Let's do it. All right, homies and home mets. So, like I said, I'm trying to get in and out of the gym in one hour. I typically do about four to five sets of most of my exercises. I cut it down to like three to four sets and I made it intense as fuck. I started off with chest flies to get a great pump in my chest and pre-exhaust the muscles. And on the fourth and final set, I did triple drop sets. And it's been at least Man, I'm going to have to say at least six weeks since I've done drop sets on the chest day. You know, i just been sticking to straight sets lately and cycling my rep ranges. And let me tell you, I'm actually doing the commentary right now, the day later, and my chest is destroyed. So, fuck. Anyway, so after the chest flies, jumped it off with some exercise right here. This is the hammer strength press. And as you see, my hands are facing each other. It's really good for that contraction on the inside of the pecs, man. Really gives you a great, fully shortened pec. Now, this right here is one of my favorite intensity principles. I don't think I've even shared this with y'all before. 
All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 10 reps of dumbbell flies. As you see, my form is good, nice and controlled, because if you start swinging and jerking, you will hurt your shoulder. So go nice and controlled, slightly pause at the bottom, and then you immediately twist your palms and you do 10 more reps of pressing. So that's 10 reps of flies, superset it with 10 reps of pressing, and that's only one set. I tell y'all, man, y'all want upper chest? Upper motherfucking chest? No fucking collarbone showing that bony shit? Hit your upper chest first, man. Don't flat bench first, upper chest first. This shit here, that shit comes easy, man. This is the hard shit to grow, all right? <laughs> Okay, so here we are on the chest press hammer strength. Look at my form. Notice how I come all the way up and make sweet, sweet love to those pecs. Okay, I'm only doing four sets, and this is really the only lower chest pressing motion I'm doing, so I gotta make each rep count. On the fourth and final set, as you see here, I did a drop set to really swell the pecs and increase the intensity. Like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to be in and out of the gym in one hour, but I want to get a good intense workout. I don't believe in pussy workouts. Rather, I'm in the gym an hour or two hours. Workout's gonna be great. Okay, so usually I do two pressing motions for my lower pecs. However, I wanna get the fuck out of the gym. So what I did was superset it, my uh, cable crossovers high for upper pecs with body weight dips to failure. Okay, three sets of that. All right, homies and homies, this right here is the last exercise of the day. My fucking camera died on me, so you're gonna notice the camera quality isn't that good. Hope you don't mind. I'm still finishing the video. All right? Now, fun fact, I've been in the gym 40 minutes, and I was trying to be out in under an hour, so it looks like I'm about to reach my goal, because I'm not hitting triceps, I'm only hitting chest. Because I got an arm day coming up in a couple of days. I'm just gonna hit my triceps harder than a motherfucker on arm day. Then, this is the final exercise right here. All right, and I look very closely. Notice how my hands are crossing each other. That's really gonna fully shorten the pecs, okay? Really gonna help bring in the inner portion of that chest so you really have no fucking flaws, okay? And then as soon as you reach failure, just make your hands touch. Now this right here is the way people usually do it, which does not fully shorten the pec, okay? So you do failure crossing over, then you do failure again, just touching. That's really gonna scorch the fuck out of those lower pecs. Then you do some more dips, which makes six sets of dips in all. All right, homies and homies, that's the end of the chest workout. I'm about to go home, have a quick snack and go to bed. I got a lot of things to do in the morning, which is why I decided to go ahead and rush my workout, man. I got a lot of shit to do in the morning. Don't forget Pump Chasers, man. Come check us out Saturday, 2 p.m. Central Time. Be sure to follow Pump Chasers at Instagram for more updates. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy.